Once upon a time, in the village of Abilikban, there lived a couple who lived together but had no child of their own since they got married. For seven years, Arinzi and Chidima have waited and was hoping that their own children will come one day. Each day Chidima goes out to the streets and seeing other people's children, she sorrowfully cried in her heart and wished she had her own child. Each day her mother-in-law comes visiting, she would mock and insult Chidima. She would call her a barren woman and a witch who had swallowed all her children. Chidima would cry all day and told her she is not God that gives children and that she will wait on God. Instantly, her mother-in-law will yell at her to give her grandchildren and that she's not getting any younger. One day, she called her son Arinze to get a second wife who would give her grandchildren. But Arinze told his mother that he loves his wife and don't want to hurt her by marrying a second wife. Instantly, Arinze's mother shouted at him and told him he is marrying a fellow man like him, that his wife is a man who couldn't bear children for him. Days passed by as Arinze thought deeply on what his mother said to him and then made up his mind to marry a second wife. He then discussed it with his wife Chidima that he really needs children. He is tired of the prayers and fastings every day, hoping children will come, but no result. Chidima wept bitterly, as he has already made up his mind. Two months later, Arinze married a second wife, Adobe. They both lived in peace with Chidima, except the fact that they don't have children. It's been two years when Arinze got married to Adobe, but still no issues. Arinze was tired and has given hope of not having children. Their mother-in-law then told them to visit a river in the village and that she heard the river solves many problems. On hearing this, Arinze was eager for his wives to go because he was so desperate for children. Adobe agreed to follow her mother-in-law to the river, but Chidima never agreed to follow them. She then told them to wait on God, that she would never soil her hands on evil. But instead, they laughed at her. Her husband then told her, for how long are we going to wait? That he can't wait anymore. She should continue waiting till eternity. Her mother-in-law then started rendering insult on her, that she don't want any good in the family and that she is bad and a wicked wife. Immediately, Arinze and his wife, Adobe, with his mother, then left for the river. On getting there, the river goddess then told Adobe to wash herself three days inside the river every midnight. The first, second, and third night, she went to wash herself in the river. As she dipped herself inside the river when making the incantation, mermaids then surround her with a male mermaid making love with her inside the water without her knowing because she wasn't seeing them and was unconscious. One month later, she started noticing some signs of pregnancy as she was already pregnant. Arizi was very happy to the extent that they made mockery of Chidima. Arinze will pay more attention to Adobe more than Chidima because she is carrying his child. Months passed as the stomach continued to grow bigger. Arinze's mother then suggested to her son to chase away Chidima that there is no need for her to be in that house since she can't bear children and she shouldn't suffocate her daughter-in-law and grandchild with her barrenness. Arinze then thought about it. He then told Chidima to pack all her belongings to her mother's side, since she can't do what Adobe did. Chidima wept bitterly as she packed her bags and hoping on God to intervene, not knowing she was two weeks pregnant as she left to her mother's house. Nine months later, 
Adobe put to bed and gave birth to a mermaid. Immediately after giving birth, she died in shock after seeing the child. Arizi and his mother was terrified and was astonished to see the mermaid. He cried with a loud voice as he mourned his dead wife. Arizi then started blaming his mother for all the things she has caused by destroying his home, chased his wife and also took Adobe to the river as he laments. The villagers now heard of the mermaid child and threw it in the river where it belongs. Ten months later, Arizi went to Chidima's house as he heard she was pregnant and has given birth to twins. He then knelt down with his mother and apologized to Chidima. Chidima and her parents, out of love, forgave them. She then returned to her husband's house. Arizi was so happy to carry his child as the baby was just like him. Arizi's mother never treated Chidima bad and loved her unconditionally with her grandchildren. They all worshipped the God she was serving and even advised other couples looking for children to wait on God. And the moral of this story is to wait on God and don't be too desperate. Thanks for watching our videos. Please like, share and subscribe. See you on our next video. Bye-bye.